Welcome everyone to the launch of the Visible Research Software Interests Group. Firstly, I would like to acknowledge the land of the Kwana people as the custodians of the Adelaide region, which is where I'm joining you all from. We respect their spiritual relationship with their country and their cultural and heritage beliefs. The Visible Research Software Interest Group, which was first announced on February 15th this year as a partnership between the Australian Research Data Commons, the Australian Biocommons and the University of New South Wales. The three initial co-hosts for the group are also here today. Um, they are Paula Martinez from the ARDC, Vanessa Crosby from UNSW and me. Uh, I'm Johan Gustafsson from the Biocommons. So I'd like to start with the reason we're here. Uh, and that's that most research would not be possible without software. Unfortunately, it's frequently unacknowledged and unpublished. And given the importance of research software, this is obviously less than ideal. Um, and when we talk about research software, the kinds of things that we're talking about, it's source code files, algorithms, scripts, workflows, and executables. Um, and those that were created during the research process or for an actual research purpose. The key is that we, the research community, absolutely need to be able to see research software, which means we need to work towards ensuring that software is visible, shareable and available to improve and maintain research integrity. So ideally, this means that research software should be published, it should be cited, and it should be fair, which means findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable. Achieving these goals for software enables many things, um, some of which include appropriate recognition for creators, discovery and reuse by the community, a reduction in duplicated effort, and improved reproducibility. We also know that software visibility is a community requirement. The need for visibility has been articulated as part of the research software agenda for Australia. And again, by a birds of a feather session at the 2021 e-research Australasia conference, which uh, attracted more than 60 participants. We've included a link by, to both the software agenda and the session report uh, on this slide. The key here is that the convergence of the community at that birds of a feather session led to firstly the identification of numerous resources for research software. At times it can be difficult to get a tangible sense of software ecosystems, however a group can more easily collectively define the scope and content of a complex ecosystem. It also allowed us to identify new collaborators, so because we converged on and discussed a topic of shared interest we were able to bring together champions from across the research sector. And ultimately, that led to this interest group. So the Visible Research Software Interest Group has been established to affect change. In short, this is about boosting the visibility of research software in scholarly communications. To do this, we seek to engage with um, research infrastructure managers, repository managers, research leaders, policy makers, and other advocates those who have the capacity to champion best practice and actually influence the adoption of policies, services and technologies in their specific areas. The group is also intentionally a knowledge sharing space to disseminate resources and strategies to support increased visibility and recognition of research software. The opportunity we have is to help inform a coordinated national response to this challenge by discussing the visibility of research software and to collectively then define the steps, processes and cultural changes we might need to allow the community to effectively see research software. The vision is that we actually can influence these changes and the key here is that we're doing that by bringing the right people together. Before I hand over to Paula for an icebreaker activity, I'd like to just point out some of the resources um, that are available to the group. We have a website which includes information about the group, its goals, um, what's being included in the definition of research software, and importantly, instructions on how to join us. Uh, it's worth pointing out that there are multiple ways that you can contribute to the group, ranging from co-hosts through to visitors. 
Uh, and these roles are described in more detail in the terms of reference. We also have a discussion forum, which is intended as an asynchronous convergence point for us all to share resources and discussions relevant to the group. Um, please see the links included in this presentation, um, but also don't hesitate to reach out if you'd like to get involved or you have any questions.